What if the secret to a thriving garden had nothing to do with what you add on top of your soil, but everything to do with what's happening beneath it? For years, gardeners have sworn by compost as the ultimate soil booster. It's organic, it's natural, and it works. But lately, something even more powerful has been quietly taking over garden science a microscopic soil ally that can wake up your plants in just two days. It's not a fertilizer, and it's not a gimmick. It's mycorrhizal fungi, the underground network transforming how gardeners grow. Every gardener knows that healthy soil means healthy plants. But what most people don't realize is that there's an entire world beneath our feet, teeming with life that works around the clock to support roots, recycle nutrients, and keep ecosystems thriving. Among this hidden community, mycorrhizal fungi are the master builders. These microscopic organisms form partnerships with plant roots, weaving a living network that connects plants to water and nutrients miles beyond their natural reach. When you add compost, you're feeding the soil with organic matter and nutrients. It's like giving your garden a hearty meal. But when you introduce mycorrhizal fungi, you're giving your soil a living nervous system. This underground partnership is ancient, over 400 million years old, and it's the quiet reason natural forests flourish without a single drop of fertilizer. In simple terms, the fungi trade. They take sugars from plant roots and in return deliver essential nutrients like phosphorus, nitrogen and trace minerals that the roots can't reach on their own. Here's where it gets fascinating. When mycorrhizal spores come into contact with plant roots, they sprout fine thread-like filaments called hyphae. These threads stretch out through the soil, forming a network so vast that just a teaspoon of healthy soil can contain several miles of fungal filaments. Through this network, plants are able to access up to 80% more nutrients and water. The fungi don't just help a single plant, they connect neighboring plants together, forming what scientists call the wood wide web. This web allows plants to exchange nutrients and even send distress signals when pests or diseases strike nearby. While compost improves soil structure over time, the fungal connection works fast, sometimes visible within just 48 hours. Gardeners often report plants standing taller, with greener leaves and a noticeable burst of energy after inoculation. Before we go further, let's make one thing clear. Compost and fungi are not rivals. Compost feeds the soil. Fungi bring it to life. The magic happens when both are working together. Compost provides the organic matter fungi need to thrive, while fungi turn those nutrients into an active delivery system that plants can access immediately. However, if you're looking for fast results, Mycorrhizal fungi take the lead. Compost works slowly, enriching soil structure and microbial life over weeks or months. Fungi, once established, can show results within a couple of days because they integrate directly with your plant's roots. So, let's take a simple experiment. Imagine two tomato seedlings, both planted in identical soil mixes. One receives compost alone, while the other gets a little boost with a mycorrhizal inoculant. Within just a couple of days, you'll notice the inoculated plant looks, well, livelier. Its leaves are perkier and its roots are visibly thicker. Now, within a week, it's noticeably taller, greener, and more resilient, even though both are given the same amount of water. This isn't magic, folks. It's just biology at work. 
the fungi actually extend the plant's root system by forming these micro-pathways, which transport water and nutrients much faster than roots could manage on their own. Even professional growers and reforestation projects are starting to rely on mycorrhizal technology. From vineyards in California to rewilding programs in Africa, these fungi help plants get established more quickly in poor or dry soils, reduce the need for fertilizers, and cut down on transplant shock. Applying mycorrhizal fungi in your own garden is actually easier than most people think. For general home gardening, just mix one teaspoon of powdered mycorrhizal inoculant per plant directly into the planting hole or around the root zone. If you're treating multiple plants, dissolve about 10 grams, which is roughly two teaspoons, of inoculant in one litre or about four cups of water. Give it a gentle stir and then water it around the roots. This simple step helps the spores make direct contact with the root tips, which is where colonization begins. Always remember to apply the fungi to living roots. They really need that connection to survive. Also, try to avoid using chemical fertilizers right after application, since high phosphorus levels can actually suppress the fungal growth. If you're already adding compost, it's best to apply the fungi after composting or mixing it into the planting soil. The ideal time to use it is when transplanting seedlings, planting new trees or refreshing garden beds at the start of the season. Once the fungi establish themselves, they can persist for years, continually connecting with new roots as your garden grows. Many gardeners unknowingly disrupt these fungal networks. Overtilling the soil breaks the delicate hyphae, severing their connections. Try switching to low-till or no-till methods to keep those networks intact. Overusing synthetic fertilizers, especially phosphorus-rich ones, can also discourage plants from partnering with fungi as the roots stop signalling for their help when nutrients are too abundant. Healthy fungal activity thrives in living soils, so keep your beds covered with organic mulch and avoid leaving bare soil exposed. Encourage diversity in your garden with a mix of flowers, vegetables and perennials. The greater the variety, the stronger the fungal network becomes. What's happening in your backyard has global implications. Mycorrhizal fungi don't just boost garden growth. They play a key role in restoring degraded land and even fighting climate change. These underground networks lock carbon into the soil, preventing it from escaping into the atmosphere. They help crops thrive without heavy fertilizer use and protect ecosystems from drying out. When you introduce mycorrhizae into your garden, you're participating in something bigger, a natural system of regeneration that's been sustaining Earth's plant life for millions of years. So which one truly wakes up your soil faster? Compost? or mycorrhizal fungi. Compost builds the foundation, slowly enriching your soil's health over time. Mycorrhizal fungi, however, ignite it, supercharging plant growth, unlocking nutrients and transforming your soil's biology in as little as 48 hours. The real magic happens when you combine both. Compost fuels the soil and fungi activate it creating a living, breathing system beneath your feet. If you've never tried it, this is your sign to give it a go. Start small, test it on one bed or a few plants, and watch the transformation happen before your eyes. And if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven for more science-backed gardening tips.
Hit that like button, share this video with your fellow growers, and let's keep awakening soils, one garden at a time.